the blessing and privilege we have today is because we have a guest of honor today I'm also blessed to have this moment to invite Honorable so I invite the Honorable Minister of Justice to come and speak to us please welcome, join me to welcome the Minister of Justice Amashimesh to recognize uh, Pastor Abner De La Santos I think he has left Pastor Ruguri Blasian still here Dr. Diop I think is right here My brother, Chief Justice from the Republic of Kenya, all the leaders that are here from this country, Rwanda, um, and other countries who are here, our Yobozi, Barahanga, Hamwese, Mujihugu Chatru, Nomuindi Vihugu, Murihano, Christians of all denominations uh, who are here and very specifically Christians of the Seventh Day Adventist faith who are here. Ndawanza kubasuhuza nukubi furiza isawa tonziza I want to greet you in the name of the Lord and uh, to wish you a great Sabbath. And also to apologize ahead of time just in case I mention things that are not in the seventh day faith, in the, in the seventh day faith because I am not a seventh day um, Adventist Christian. I am a Christian though. However, I will do my best to fit within the template. I guess there is a template. I spent a few minutes with my brother, the Chief Justice from Kenya, and he gave me a, a few lessons about the structure of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the global structure, the regional structure, the parade which was here, I'm a little bit of a student. Uh, I, I learned a few things, so I will try to fit within the template. So, Ndaza Kujerajeza, Kuwa Hiriza, Amahame, Ya Idini, Ya Abachiris to Munswakarin, which I'm about to be in his to Munswakarin. Kuberako, Aramasomona, Wonya Kurimujans, and yet Karakich, and Yahano. Muchamanza Mukuru, Jogu Chakenya, Haribio and Yiji Shije, Haribio and Yim Fata, Daza Kujara Jazero, Kuba Hiriza, Ayo Mohammed. Nejeshwe Mizina Yaguvernuma, Kuifatanya Namwe, Muri Virori, Yokishi Mira, Muden de Zomore and Zirabidini, No Quemer. Nagira ngo nshimire itorero ry'abadvantisti b'umunsi wa karindwi ku buryo bakiriye iyi nama muri iki gihugu cyacu nibi birori byiza 
bibaye uyu munsi I'm happy to be here on behalf of my government to celebrate with you uh, religious liberty and I want to thank the Rwandan chapter of the Seventh Day Adventist Church for hosting and coordinating this wonderful event that you have had here in the last three days. Ndashimira kanda bate guye iyinama ku rwego rwa Africa ko bahisemo urwanda kugira ngo ruyakire. I'm also grateful to the organizers at the African level for choosing Rwanda to host this event. I'm told this event happens in other places. Uh, it was mentioned here, I think, by Dr. Guri. Uh, but we must be blessed in some way for you to have chosen to bring it here this time. Thank you so much. Rwanda ni jugu chijengwa jifungu ye amarembo tukawarelo tukishimira ko inama ya tuza ni ye abashitirenshi tukize ya kovose ubungu abari watari nshuti ubungu abari nshuti zurugwanda ngara koze chane guhitamu kuza murugwanda kubachira numujisha ukome chane unahindura Ura duhindura abasangwa beza mu gihe cyose twakira abashitsi Rwanda is a country that has opened up its doors and gates to every visitor who wants to come here and we are happy that you are here and we are happy that you came in big numbers to visit our country uh, we believe that you now are friends of Rwanda if you were not before you came. Thank you very much for choosing to come here. Receiving you is a blessing for us and it makes us better hosts. When you come here next time, we shall be better, even better hosts. Thank you. Ibi birori byo kwizihiza umudendezo mu byidini no kwemera wahuriranye wahuriranye n'umunsi muza mahanga wa demokrasi wizihirwa wizihizwa uyu munsi tariki 15 nzeri ni byiza rero kuba byahuriranye kuko demokrasi nziza nitanga umudendezo kuri buri wese Today is also a World Democracy Day. So, the coincidence between today uh, celebrating religious liberty and uh, World Democracy Day is a very great match for us. Ukwe mera ndetse no kujiridini nubure nganzira karemano bilimuvijize kamere munu ninayomhamvu arubure nganzira bukomei. Imana ya ima nyumunu ubure ya nganzira kwa guhitamo ni nacho chimutandu kanya nibi indi viremwa. Religious freedom is a fundamental human right that when God created us and put us on this earth, he also equipped us with the tools to make the choices on how we will worship him. abantu kandi mu biterere yabo bafite ibitekerezo binyuranye ibyo bemera ndetse nibyo batemera bitandukanye ibyo bakunda nibyo badakunda bitandukanye ndetse nibyo buri wese ashoboye nibyo azi bitandukanye nibya mugenzi we iyo mitekerereze inyuranye n'uburyo bunyuranye abantu babona ibintu nibyo bituma inzira banyura mu biyambaza imana ari byo twita idini bitandukana ariko ikiza amadini yose ahuriraho nuko yigisha urukundo ndetse no kubana neza mu mahoro ku batuye isi n'imibereho myiza kuri bose 
I just mentioned that human beings by nature have different ways of looking at things, different things they like and different things they don't like. And this one is what makes us a diverse community of God. And this is the way, because of those different choices, if we go different ways in worshipping our God, in what is called religion, that is what makes the religious freedom a very important cornerstone in our lives. But the good thing also is that most religions, probably all religions, preach love, preach respect for others, preach tolerance, and preach welfare of every member of their faith. I think that seems to be a common denominator. Ndugo Amadini Agamija Mahoro Nurukundo Hari Rimwe na rimwe abayakoresha mu nyungu zindi bakaryanisha abantu bakabiba makimbirane ndetse akavuka intambara zikomeye zishingiye ku madini abantu kuba batemera kimwe badahuje idini byonyine bikabiso isoko ya makimbirane ni ntambara ibyo byabayeho mu mateka y'isi kandi nubu biracyagaragara hirya no hino Although religion is for good, basically, and I think Dr. Diop referred to it here, in history, religion has been a source of serious conflict and serious war in the world. We want to believe that it has gone forever. We always want to believe like that, although we still see those kinds of things rallying their ugly faces again. Kuba abantu batekereza ku buryo butandukanye ntabwo byagombye kuba intandaro y'amakimbirane ahubwo bikwiye kubabera imbaraga diversity in belief diversity in faith should be diversity and should be strength in the world that we live in it should not be a source of conflict or war ndiyo mpamvu ari byiza ko leta namadini bicara hamwe bakaganira ku bijyanye n'umudendezo mu byo kwemera ndetse namadini yose ibiganiro bitandukanye byatanzwe muri iyi nama ibyabanjije uyu munsi n'uyu munsi byaganishaga aho ngaho Kubumwe kabanya Afrika hati itawe kumye merere ndetse na madini babari zguamu. That's why I believe that governments and faith organizations need to find compromises in the whole range of respect of the rights including religious liberty because the subjects for whom the faith organizations and governments stand are the same subjects. They are the same citizens of every country. Rwanda, for example, is 11 million people, 12 million people. All of them belong to one faith or the other. So we want to believe that governments and religious organizations have a role to play because the subjects for whom they stand are the same subjects. Uyu munsi byumwe hariko ibi birori bigamije gushima intambwe yatewe ku mugabane wa Afrika mu kubahiriza uburenganzira mu byidini. I had uh, this morning and I think you have done this in the previous two days that today is another day to celebrate how much religious freedom that the African continent is containing right now. 
banya kubahwa muri hano banya Afrika dusangiye Afrika hidukuye kugirana ibibazo na madini colleagues fellow Africans we should not have differences with religions as religions but I want to believe as previous speakers raised that there can be issues where we have differences with the way the religions profess their faith in what is called the fundamental human right. Chief Justice Malaga raised a very important point here that you, there is a whole range of human rights and it would be difficult to separate one of them and isolate it and celebrate it alone without dealing with the other range of human rights. I want to believe that wherever on the African continent you have a faith-based organization or a religion that professes their faith in ways that make governments or make people fail to realize the whole range of human rights that they, that their laws give them, then there is need for sitting down and finding compromises. Idini Risawa and I'm giving you small examples that I have found in my uh, bit of research. Rizura wapfu ye Ndete rikawapa na mumba rikawagarura Idini rijemeza wavu kanyaka guru kamwe Changwa kaboko kamwe Ko Riza kagarura rikagashira ho Rikyuze mkuga senjira kakagaruka Idini rijemeza urgu ayo maraliya Ko rimusenjira maraliya ikavamo Ikajenda na buga chini ugui njirari java na ni nguwa razi gachira nechereza ko aru urijo bugo kukore shanavi idini kuwela ko idini rizima risa njeru munu kuja kwa muganga idini rizima risa njeru munu kujirango ichibazo afite asha kuburijo kwa kujichamura na abugo yo ubgaryo ya gomje kumubgi rango mararia wa nanayu mwuzi yawe ilaza guchi la kuwe lako wemeji I just raised issues for those of you who are not following the Kinyarwanda language which happen once in a while in the way we profess religions in the way we preach deliverance if we preach deliverance in a way that separates you, me, from my own ancestry, if we preach fasting to include death and burial uh, due to fasting, if we preach that malaria, which is a very serious problem on the African continent, this is why I'm raising it, malaria and kwashakorn malnutrition, if we preach that these things can go because someone has agreed to believe only and they can sit and pray for seven days and malaria goes, then there is need for the government and for the faith to have a sitting and have a conversation on the way we are using the message. That, believe, that means that the message needs to be adjusted just a little bit to ensure that for malaria you go to a clinic and get quinine. That means that for kwashako 
you have to find the nutrients to eradicate it. You can't find them in the Bible. The Bible will lead you to those nutrients. You can't find them from prayer only. Prayer can lead you to where you can get quinine uh, uh, nutrients for your sickness. So I want to believe and I want to again talk about a few of the things I learned from Chief Justice Maraga this morning. The seventh day Adventist faith, I want to believe that it is from what I've seen in my uh, time as a public servant, I want to believe that it is a very serious partner with governments in the welfare, in promoting the welfare of people, in the love for science, in the knowledge that technology and transformation of agriculture, of life, of health, of infrastructure delivers better Christians. And, and I believe that when God comes, he will be looking for Christians with better roads, with no malaria, with no kwashako, with no worms in their stomachs, with the, he will be looking for Christians whom we helped to become very good Christians even for heaven. Najihugunzi mu bihugu byateye imbere cyageze kwitera mbere ye cyagezeho kinyuze mu kwicara hamwe amasaha 28 iminsi 7 ibyumweru bine hamezi 12 buri mwaka nta gihugu nzi cyageze kwitera mbere kigezeho cyicara hamwe kigasenga gusa i don't know one country that has gone through prayer only seven days a week four weeks a month 12 months a year all the all the time and delivered development i believe that there has been a fair compromise and the message we have got from prayer has actually taken these countries into actual work to deliver what development that we can see that they have now. So the challenge for all of us Christians, this time whether we are government or not is irrelevant. The challenge for all of us as Christians is are we delivering the message in a way that takes Africa? I'm talking about Africa now. Are we delivering the message that takes Africa where Africa needs to be in that agenda 2063? Are we delivering Africa where Africa wants to be? Because Africa does not need to be here because it was here in the 50s, it was here in the 40s, it was here in the 30s. Why should it remain here? So what do we do what is our special role what is our contributory role as faith-based organizations in the drive of africa towards taking it to where agenda 2063 asks us to be there are many countries who are like we are today in the 50s but today they are worlds apart what can we do what message can we deliver to our christians that will deliver them the development they want in their family, the development they want in their church, the development they want in their country. I think for Africa, we really need to have this conversation very seriously so that we don't spend another 50 years praying only. No, I think we should pray and deliver roads and deliver goods and deliver services which our people need while they are here. They need to be meek, they need to be good, but they also need to develop. Imyemerere ya tugumisha ahantu tumaze imyaka ijana ntabwo ntekereza ko ari raporo nziza twazageza ku mana igihe twageze mu ijuru. If we continue doing the same things that we have done and we have kept where we were 50 years ago, I don't think that will be a very good report when we go to heaven when we go to heaven God will want to hear 
a good report. What did we do with the people he gave us to lead? What did he do? What did we do with them? But if we tell him that we asked the people to pray 24 hours a day until they came home with jiggers in their feet, then God will not like what we did. He will love us when we pray and there were no jiggers in those feet. Africa Nero is Guho even to Jesh, the Chirikuru Gorutoya, Gabu Bufuzi, Gabu Burezi, Javi Korgore Mezo, Ibiduchi Javichuns Genavi, Korgore Mezo Wins in Ugorozi. All these Africa is known for that are at low level. The faith we profess, the Christians we have every Saturday, every other day, the parade of young people that we saw here is a channel. God has given us to deliver a message that can deliver our homes, our people, our parents from the backwardness that they have, the economic transformation that they can deliver uh, in their own, uh, within their own energies. If Jesus nuko amadini ya fasha guhindura yimibereho kuko ntabwo yifuza uko ntekereza I want to believe that all faiths, none of them wants to have followers who are besieged with problems all the time. I think for each of us, we all want to have Christians who are delivering themselves from these other issues that beset Africa. Ibibi dashogo tariko Amadini Na ugoe agomje kukoresha Ibu gabu tunga Ja yobja Aba anu Changwa ya tuma waga wanya Mubu duko kushaka Kui hindurira Ubuzimabuga In the unlikely event That a faith organization Is not participant in the ways of delivering development to its Christians, at least it should not use faith to detract, to deter, to stop, to impinge the, the, the Christians from they themselves turning their own lives into better lives. So I think even there, uh, the, 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 the liberty to do what you want to do exists, but please note to the detriment of other very important aspects of the lives of our Christians. If you mumazi minsi ngumva mu Rwanda naha bichinji, I have a feeling that most of you who are friends of Rwanda who have come here in the last couple of months or so. Probably the media or, or other channels, you have read about, you know, some things reported about Rwanda, the relationship between Rwanda and faith. Those of you who have been here for three days, I think you have seen what it is. We continue very seriously and vehemently to protect and preserve and promote religious freedom. We will continue to do that. Nothing will stop us from doing that. However, we will also continue vehemently, seriously, determinedly insist on taking our people from the backward situation where they are to a better situation, no matter the road that we take. If along that road there is a faith-based organization which is driving in the reverse, then we will sit and have a conversation on how we drive in the same direction. Amen. That is what we have been trying to do in this country. Those who drive in reverse, we want to have a conversation with them so that we drive in the same direction because the problems besetting us are not just besetting a government, they are besetting our citizens and everybody in their own homes. If you are a bigenda bifugwa kujihugu cha atu Nuko Kuwa hiriza Najirangu mbisawa anureneza 
ndaje ngo nsobanure ko twubahiriza cyane ibiteganyijwe mu itegeko nshinga ryacu nandi mategeko uburenganzira bw'idini ubwisanzure ibikenewe byose ko tubikora kugira ngo ubwo burenganzira tuburinde tubusigasire bizakorwa nta cyabihuza gukorwa ariko muri iyo nzira iyo duhuriyemo ni dini ni myemerere itwara isubiza inyuma itatuma abantu bacu bava aho bari nicyo niyo nicyo gituma dushaka inzego zibishinzwe kugira ngo zicarane nabo zigire ikiganiro dushaka uburyo twese dufata inzira iganisha umunyarwanda mu iterambere akeneye ni imana ikeneye kuko ibi bintu byose dutekereza ko ni imana irabishaka we continue to believe that god wants people who are decent who are developing who are educated who have some bit of literacy who are moving forward we are happy of the progress that has been made uh, by religion and faith based organizations on the African continent to be very sincere and honest faith has done wonders on the African continent faith has delivered in all sorts of ways not simply uh, uh, in the worship of God but in public services in health in education in illiteracy faith has delivered tremendously in all these areas so we want to uh, together I think we should celebrate faith because it was a channel that delivered us probably very many of us have gone through some faith-based school or, or hospital or something uh, in one uh, of their lives the government of Rwanda continues to treat faith-based organizations as partners in development and we continue to do that because you have the power have the channel to communicate what needs to be communicated to the citizens and we will continue to use that channel in order to develop our country even faster igihugu kizakomeza gukoresha amadini nk'abafatanya bikorwa kubera ko abayoboke iyo baje bakabayoboka ni byiza cyane ko dukoresha iyo nzira kugira ngo nabo turushe ko kubateza imbere mu gusoza nagira ngo nongere mbashimire mwese abitabiriye ibi birori nababiteguye i want to thank you so much as i wind up uh, those everybody who turned up here and those who organized this wonderful three days Again, I want to thank my brother, Chief Justice Maraga, for being in Rwanda uh, privately, although no Chief Justice has traveled privately, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, I will make sure that uh, this, what you thought was a private visit, I will report it as an official visit to, to in Rwanda. Thank you for coming here. Ndabifuriza kuzagira urugendo rwiza ubwo muzaba musubira mu bihugu byanyu ndetse no kubifuriza gukomeza kugaruka mu Rwanda no kurubera abambasaderi abavugizi bakomeye for those of you who came from out of Rwanda i want to wish you um, two things one to stay in Rwanda please don't go in the unlikely event that you have to go i want to wish you the best journeys uh, back home uh, the lord's mercies uh, on your journeys and also to find time and come back to rwanda and visit us for many other reasons including faith and also be our ambassadors out there where you go where you travel where you live as much as we we will be your ambassadors and serious partners 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Join me to put our hands together to give an applause for such words of wisdom.